Hey, what's good? I'm just going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to use Field, how to get the Go Detail template that I've been working on for the past two years. Give you guys a quick walkthrough on how to use the CRM platform, dispatch jobs, and much more. So, first thing, after you log in, uh, you should get to a screen like this. Let me just refresh this guy for y'all. So, as you can see, this is this week. We're doing roughly $30,000 worth of bookings and we're not even fully booked out. We still have a few time slots here and there left over. So let me just dive into the app, show you guys what it's capable of and kind of how it works. And let's start with the actual online booking portion, right? So if you go to my website and you click book online, it'll take you to this page. Now this is actually a page that field gives you and this is part of the template that you'll be getting uh, is we actually pre-built the entire online website for you so you'll have the ability to change things you know you're gonna have a really good base point that literally took us two years to build out you're not gonna be starting from scratch or and wasting a bunch of time so if you want to check it out you go to mine it's just book.godetail.com move the dot click next and then you're gonna see the first selection is is it a mobile job or a shop job you guys will have the ability to turn off shop or turn off mobile uh, in this tutorial for the purposes of my company I offer both we're just gonna go in here and check it out so if we go to mobile service let's say we click on full detail gold standard package you'll see that there's a lot of add-ons available right upgrades that the customers can select and just say we selected leather treatment maybe some pet hair removal the next stage it's going to take you to is going to be uh, calendar selection. So right here, you can see who's available on the team, what time, click next. Uh, this is a mobile job, so you know we like to ask if they have access to water and electricity within 100 feet. If they do, you know we could send out anybody. If they don't, then we have to send out a specific technician that has an onboard water tank and generator, right? So let's just say for the purpose of this, say yes, and then it's gonna have you enter your details, test customer, continue as a guest, okay? And then I'm going to be able to book now. Now, before it lets me book, it's actually going to have me accept the terms and conditions, which is really important. You could check out what that page is, right? It gives you a little preview. Um, and I suggest everybody have that. So click accept, go to book now, success. You could even uh, do a pre-authorization on here which will require them to put a credit card down, uh, make a $1 reservation re deposit, which is something I really recommend everybody do so that you're not getting spam jobs uh, for the purpose of this tutorial. I'll turn that off. I'm going to turn it back on because that's how you get a lot of no call, no shows, right? People that say they're going to come and then they never give you their info and they just ghost you. So we don't want that happening. Let's go back into the app. I'll show you guys a few more things. So right here in settings, there's quite a lot of things. I'm going to be going over the main components today, starting with, of course, first of all, how do we get this template? So template is pretty simple to get. Just go to settings and then go to pricing and then click on services. And then right here, you'll see a little change template button once you sign up. So you're just gonna click that, go to view all templates and click on go detail. Now this is password protected. I am giving it out just so you guys don't have to build out this entire machine from scratch. It gives you a good base point and then that way you can move along faster with your business, right? So just click on go detail click select template it is password protected so the password is just go detail all lowercase it's gonna pop, copy it paste it in and then click this button and by doing that you will get my entire service template here right so you'll unlock everything including all the packages the detail packages all the ceramic coating packages we use all the paint protection film packages all the window tint packages in both carbon and ceramic. And you guys can easily just go in here and start changing things, right? Change the price, 
change the cost, change whatever you want it to say in here. Uh, you could offer this service mobile or at the shop. Let's say you don't offer window tinting at all or PPF at all. It's very simple for you to turn these things off. I'll show you right now. So let's just say you don't offer window tint. Literally just go over here, click the three dots and click disable, okay? Let's say you don't offer paint protection film, same thing, just click the three dots, come here, click disabled, click save, and it's gonna turn those off. This is a really good question. Let's say you already have field and you just wanna use the Go Detail template. Um, this is a question I get a lot. People ask me, is changing my template for to yours gonna mess up any of the jobs I currently have booked? The short answer is no. Any jobs you have booked are going to stay there that way in your schedule. They're going to be unbothered. When you flip the switch and actually activate the Go Detail template, uh, that'll just be a change moving forward, not backward, right? So anything on your calendar, whether yesterday or two months from now, it'll all still stay the same as long as you booked it before you change the template. And then when you go ahead and change the template, it's just gonna put you on the new system and you're gonna have a mix of old jobs plus new jobs for a little while until you just start booking on the new template entirely. So it's not gonna mess anything up and you don't have to worry about that. Uh, another thing I wanna go over is service areas. This is one of my favorite features. Uh, as you can see, I have quite a few service areas for all my technicians. Let's say you wanna add an employee that lives 20 miles south of you something like that, right? You're just gonna go click on new service area. You're gonna type in Allen, for example. Uh, you're gonna give it an address. So for example, I could give it you know, my shop address. And then you could actually have it draw a map, it's one of my favorite parts, around that area, uh, assuming for traffic. So if we click draw right here, you'll actually see it's going to draw a new service area and then you could go ahead and assign employees to that service area. Super cool. So I'm going to exit out of this. There's live tracking so customers can actually see where your employees are at. You could change these images if you really need to. I would just recommend keeping them the same because they've worked really well for us. And yeah, I'm just going to kind of Go through settings real quick. You know, there's taxes you could set up if you live in a state with sales tax. Fortunately for me in Oregon, we don't have sales tax, so I don't have to mess around with that too much. So right under pricing, there's also customer add-ons. We already went over the services, but you could go into customer add-ons and you could see where all these things are hiding. You will have access to all these in the template as well. If we go over to company add-ons, these are more hidden features that don't display on the front end. You will also have access to these service areas. We just went over customer app. I don't really use it. Worker app. We use that for every single job. I just have all my workers literally download the field app and then they're able to see their schedule every day of the week using that app. They're able to check out clients through it. They're able to notify clients when they're on the way, when they're getting started, when they've completed the job, taking before and after photos for liability's sake, and tons and tons of other features. I'm gonna show you some of them. But yeah, communication's also a really big one. So you could send email confirmations, email reminders, invoices, all that. My favorite is actually the SMS feature. So you could see the snippets. You can just pause this video and copy and paste them into your own field. But here's the first one I have when they initially book the service, right? It's just gonna say something along the lines of, hey Bob, your appointment with Go Details confirmed. Please read our terms and cancellation policy below. And then the next one is the booking reminder, which they just added a feature. Uh, you can have two reminders now, not just one. So I have one set up for the one day before the appointment just reminding the customer about their, their appointment. And then I have another one set up one hour before their appointment. So this is just to make sure 
customers are less likely to no call, no show, right? If you give them a bunch of warnings, they're not likely to miss the job. And we have an in route button. Uh, you know, Mike, we'll meet you in five minutes for your go detail booking. Please remove all valuables from vehicle. And it's just an important message to send so that, you know, we don't accidentally ruin something expensive if they just, you know, have it laying around the car. Track arrival, this is again the tracking link they can use to see where the technician is at. And then when the technician arrives, we have this message sent out to make sure nobody's stealing from us, no technicians, no contractors. And then when the job is complete, uh, we just have them send out this message automatically. They just, right, the technician just clicks one button and these texts just shoot out automatically. You have to realize that. And then after complete, we actually have uh, the reviews one go off, right? We have a reviews automation, which we just use as our last text kind of. And it says, Go Detail strives for 100% customer satisfaction, customer questions or concerns, call or text our main line within 24 hours, and then rate us here. So this is really cool. This is really smart, actually. Uh, this is Field's internal review system. So if Field detects, you know, somebody leaves you a bad review on this internal review, it's not going to ask them to go to Google, leave you a bad review, right? Because if somebody leaves internally a one-star review and you prompt them to leave one on Google afterwards, they're likely gonna also leave a one-star review on Google. So this kind of circumvents that, prevents it from happening, right? So when field detects that you get a review less than, I think if it's less than four stars, it won't actually send the customer to Google, right? And you could actually select it. So I have mine set to four stars or more. It's gonna show the Google reviews button. Uh, and then I just have it connected to my Google My Business profile. If we go over to payments, you could have some tipping options here. These are the suggested amounts that I have kind of pre-saved on the screen so that when one of our technicians is checking them out with their phone, uh, the customers could easily select one of these three options and make their day a little better, right? Because detailers work hard, they deserve tips. Uh, Prepayments, this is required. We have them do a pre-authorization, which basically means during booking, uh, customers have to add their credit card in order to confirm their booking, in order to finalize it. Otherwise, we're not gonna take them seriously. It's just gonna do a $1 pre-authorization on the card, and that's gonna allow us to go into the system and charge their card later if they don't show up to an appointment. Yeah, that's pretty much how it works. But yeah, there's tons and tons of features in here. I'm just kind of going over the ones I actually use. If we go into my workers, you can see I have quite a few workers here, quite a few technicians. But uh, let's say we go into one of my workers. You could select which services uh, they're available to be booked for which is really cool. Like if you have certain guys that, that can't do everything, uh, you could have them book only certain things, right? So somebody that's like a window tinter uh, isn't gonna be doing polishing, for example, right? And you could select that in here. Also, you can select their permissions. So if we go to worker, selection, mobile app, you could actually set, this is what I have all my technicians set to. So they could schedule new jobs, they could edit their personal calendar. They can't create invoices. They can't create quotes because that's our sales guy's job. Uh, they could edit items and prices. So this comes in handy. The only time this comes in handy is when there's really bad cell service and they can't upload their before and after pictures, but they have to check out the customer. What we have them do is actually take those photos and send them to us later. Um, but you know, they, they have to hold them on their own camera roll for the time being and check out the customer while they're out there if they have really bad cell reception, right? Uh, they have the ability to message customers, call customers, send photos to customers. Foreman, this just means they're like the main guy. Like if, if you put more than one guy on a job, which I'll show you how to do later, you can make one of them the foreman, which means he'll be the one pressing all the buttons and checking out the customer while the other guy's just like a trainee or a sidekick. I let them view what customers pay for jobs to make sure 
weren't getting paid the right amount. Um, I also let them see their earnings in a weekly summary and view their earnings on each job just to motivate them to work harder. You can see that there. And right here is the service area part. So if we click on service area, actually have Jose able to get booked for his service area plus the shop. So this is really cool. Show you some more stuff here. There is this live chat so you could talk to customers. If we go into a job, one of these random ones we finished already. So this was a 10 year ceramic coating that we sold for thousand bucks basically and you could see quite a few things here you could see the timeline so when the job was booked you know if when the, the technician said he was in route um, when the arrival SMS was sent when the job was completed all these things there's even before and after pictures with templates so here's the, the before pictures that we took right we also have after pictures. So really important things. Without this app, I'll say this quite simply, like we would not be able to run this kind of operation. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. This is as much as I could fit in a quick 15, 20 minute tutorial. Uh, but hopefully it's enough to get you started, get you going on that Go Detail template. And if you guys need any help with field, you could always reach out to them. There's this chat bubble here in the corner can ask them questions, ask them for help when you're setting things up. They do have a pretty huge team, so they do get to request pretty fast, which is awesome. And yeah, if you guys haven't already, go and follow me on Instagram. My handle is at go.detail. I have a lot of business advice on there. I post stories pretty much every single day. And if you want good tips and tricks for running a successful detail business, then you're definitely gonna wanna follow me on my Instagram. I'll see you guys soon. Let's get to work.